private map, but we can do everything for French companies who want to enter the Russian market. We are the, the main gate to Russia for a small and medium enterprise. So we help them, uh, first of all, decide uh, what is the best strategy to enter the Russian market. And then we provide all kinds of uh, legal, accounting and hosting services. So they can find a, an office, they can uh, manage a company with us, we can even help them hire their staff. Uh, and uh, then we connect them with the local uh, ecosystem, both French and Russian market. It's important to be part of the, the French community. Uh, it's uh, quite small in, in Russia, it's just 3,500 people. Uh, but because it's small, it's very strong and effective together. Um, and the big French companies are, are very strong here in Russia, so they can help also to enter the Russian market. First of all, yeah, I believe that's the exact best time to uh, invest in Russia for a foreign company and especially a French company because uh, French people and French companies are quite appreciated here by, by Russian people. Um, there's different uh, possibilities and different kind of investment. Um, first of all, building a, a branch and operation in Russia is, is already an investment. Uh, and it's, uh, it's particularly interesting at the moment because of the low uh, exchange rate. Uh, so now, uh, buying a branch here and hiring uh, local staff cost half the price than four uh, years ago. Um, for instance, um, we have uh, a very successful French startups called Chameleon, who uh, started hiring uh, Russian developers instead of uh, French developers. Uh, and after building a very strong uh, tech uh, team, they uh, were able to sell their product to the Russian market. Uh, so that's one way, one very effective way and quite simple because it's much cheaper to invest in Russia than in the US, for instance. Uh, the second kind of investment uh, is actually to localize the production here. Uh, that's what the big French company uh, did already. Uh, and we see now a smaller company uh, doing it also. For instance, very recently during the uh, St. Petersburg Forum, uh, one of our residents uh, called Olmix uh, signed a letter of intent with uh, the Russian government to build a factory. So it's a biotech company and they will build a factory in the coming months uh, in Russia to localize the production and sell this product at least to Russia and probably all around Russia also. And the third opportunity of investment is technology. Um, we help also a large group, a large French group, uh, to source technology in Russia uh, because, as you probably know already, the Russian startups, the Russian technology is very, very good and much cheaper than anywhere else in the world. Uh, so that's why myself, I created a small fund with uh, 15 uh, other investors, mostly French, and we are selecting, investing and helping uh, Russian startups to grow bigger and to grow abroad. First of all, they should begin to come to Russia <laughs> to understand more of the countries, more of the specifics. Um, and also, of course, to uh, find the right partners. Um, there's many uh, interesting areas to invest in. Um, there's a few sectors that are more and more active at the moment. I'm thinking about agriculture, where the uh, state is investing a lot. And so there's opportunities, uh, first of all, to buy lands or to buy farms or even to buy technology that are being developed uh, here. Um, also, of course, um, they can contact uh, companies or organizations like uh, NUMA or like uh, Skolkovo who are specialized in sourcing um, technologies and, and startup. Um, and also, there is not so many um, small and medium enterprises in, in Russia. That's at the moment uh, a weak point in the uh, Russian economy. We have a lot of uh, individual entrepreneurs and a lot of very, very big companies. And I think that for uh, foreign investors, 
could be interesting to invest in these small companies and to bring them to the later stage, uh, what we call scale up. Um, uh, because at the moment, the, the small companies ever stay, stay uh, small or they uh, prefer to get acquired by a very large company and then they disappear. Um, so I would try to focus on, on this uh, on these two sectors, the, the small, especially in retail, and the, uh, the agriculture.